Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more FIFA 16 Super League Career Mode. We're playing as Manchester United. This is episode 13. Guys, in today's episode, we have three matches. Yes, three. The first is against AS Monaco at Old Trafford. Then we have a match against Napoli down in Italy. We're going to Naples. And then we have a match against Arsenal. So it should be an absolute cracker in today's episode. Guys, if you haven't gone and seen the last episode, episode we managed to draw the first match 1-1 against Chelsea we, we really should have won and then we got defeated we were smashed by um, Real Madrid now speaking of Real Madrid and getting s and smashing I guess <laughs> Cristiano Ronaldo makes it 1-0 just before the ninth with an emphatic finish a sensational volley from the Portuguese man sends it home and starts off the scoring. Also, guys, I'm currently playing my formation wise a 4 3 3 narrow. Paul Pogba makes it 2 0. The number 6 rises to the occasion. We have Zlatan leading the line. We have Ronaldo on the left, Bale on the right, Mikatarian at the cam. Paul Pogba at the left central midfield position picked up a goal just then. He's fifth of the Super League season. Bastian Schweinsteiger in the right midfield. What a ball from Gareth Bale there. Javier Hernandez, Chicharito fresh off the bench. The super sub absolutely blasts it. Coming on with Wayne Rooney and Memphis Depay. We have David Alaba at left back. Philip Lahm at right back, Smalling and Eric Bailly in the centre back pairing, and David De Gea in goal. Guys, a 2 0 victory over AS Monaco. Very, very good. Wagner Love leading the line for them. Obviously, a career mode favourite. He was so good in like FIFA 12 with that pink hair or blue hair, whatever he had. I swear he had blue and pink hair in one FIFA. But regardless, Zlatan is playing back in Italy. Hopefully, we can pick up a win. Milik is leading the line. Obviously, one of Napoli's new signings. Mikatarian finds Ronaldo. He starts the scoring and makes it 1 0. League-wise, guys, we're currently sitting in first with 58 points. Uh, Bayern Munich second with 46. Juventus third with 45. And Barcelona fourth with 44. Let me know in the comment section down below who is going to be the top goal scorer. And who's going to finish in the top four? It's going to be so, so interesting. There's not much between any of the points at all. Between second and seventh, there's only four points at the start of the video. That is just nuts. No one can seem to break away from the pact. Everyone is winning, losing, and drawing to any team, left, right, and center. And it's going to be even more curious to see who gets away from relegation. Guys, Jonas is the top goal scorer of the Super League career mode with 12 goals. And unfortunately there, guys, we managed to have a 1-1 draw against Napoli. Not good whatsoever. I did actually read a comment a couple of episodes ago saying Jonas will be the top goal scorer. And he could very well be. He's a very, very good player. I do have a lot of Benfica fans. Muller is currently sitting in second with 12 goals. And Neymar is third with 11. So I was just curious to see if there were any potential job openings in the Super League career mode and around the world. But the Barcelona job looks to be the best one there. Edison Cavani has just taken over Jonas with 13 goals, and we have a match against Arsenal in today's episode at Old Trafford. They've picked up a couple of players, obviously Xhaka in real life, and in this Super League career mode, they managed to pick up Marco Verratti in the first transfer window, but I think that's pretty much it. I can't remember off the top of my head if they signed anyone in January. They have Giroud Ramsey, Walcott Coquelin, Chamberlain, Hector Bellerin, Monreal, Gabriel Palista, Koscielny, and Petacek. So they're playing Verratti, no Xhaka to be found. Schweinsteiger with the corner kick finds Mikatarian. Whips it into the box to Smalling. He starts off the scoring past Petacek. Makes it 1-0 just before the 15th. Does the chest thump. Z bloody Zlatan celebrating in the background there. Doing a very, very nice job. And Chris Smalling scores his second goal of the season, which is great. It's always good to see um, your defenders getting up on the score sheet. But Pogba breaks away trying to test Peter Cech. What I like about this team, every single 
player can score goals, especially my right back and left back, of course. David Alaba plays for Austria in the midfield and sometimes plays for Bayern in the midfield. He can go up. He scored some bangers. Philip Lahm sometimes plays in the defensive midfield for Bayern, my right back. So I can score goals all around the pitch. Oliver Giroud makes his fifth goal of the season. And after our two good performances and me praising the team, we managed to drop points. Uh, definitely should have got three points against Arsenal and Napoli. Um, but we did manage to get some sort of points. I, I am happy. So a, a win against AS Monaco. Two draws, which are not really acceptable. It just makes the gap between first and second even closer. We lost against Real Madrid in the last episode. It's very embarrassing. Seeing we stole their two main Galacticos. And we managed to spend a ridiculous amount of money in the process, signing Cristiano Ronaldo, signing Gareth Bale. But regardless, guys, it's going to be incredibly interesting to see how this Super League career mode ends up. Hope you guys still are enjoying it. If you'd like to see more, the best way for me to know and gauge your support is by leaving a like and a comment. Subscribe if you're new around here. Check out my social media links, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below if you want to stay connected with me. But guys, take care. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And stay Stay tuned for more content on my channel. My name is Ben Simsey. Take care. Goodbye.